Hello everyone. Uh, I am happy to share that uh, the BCT calculator, which was earlier known as BoxCal, has now revamped. And now we have also added this costing provision. So earlier in BCT, you only used to get to find the BCT, like uh, using very generic questions. Now you can also do the costing uh, because we have received this request uh, from a lot of people that uh, can you provide a corrugated box costing calculator. So this is the calculator. Uh, it can be accessed using this link erp.paxitu.com slash costing. Uh, so once you go there, then you get to see this page and this is free of cost. You don't have to even log in or sign up to do the costing. So how uh, it is done is used is uh, this is the input uh, area and on my right hand side is the output. So uh, first of all you need to select a type of box which you want to do costing. So if I select semi RSC then uh, the all, every calculation gets changed and you can also see the image uh, which gets populated. So you know that what bo type of box you are actually using for costing. Okay. So let me take this case of a regular slotted box. Uh, there are these parameters. So some are pre-filled just for your quick understanding so that we can show some results to you. It is not, it, it doesn't come blank, right? Uh, whenever you open it. Uh, so what you can do, you can enter your parameters here quickly. This is my length. Uh, this is my width, uh, which is let's say 420 and this is uh, 300 is my height. Trim waste typically for uh, the blank, uh, for the board. Uh, every time when you manufacture, you need to consider some kind of wastage. So trim waste you need to add. I have added 30 uh, on both sides. Uh, type of flute, uh, this could be a double A flute, let's say. And uh, then what are the different layers you are going to use? So for top, we are going to use this 218 and price could be let's say 55 it could be golden paper so everything is free uh, uh, like uh, you don't have to really uh, so so these values uh, you can enter yourself uh, some peer populated values are there these are dummy values and uh, so Let's say my uh, uh, let me change it to this one and 18 BF. Oh, it's okay. Let me change it to 25 and also this two. So top and liner I am keeping same. Okay. Uh, let's keep it golden. And then I'll also change the price for top and liner and let me keep it 45 just for the sake of calculation. Uh, so these are the values as we keep on entering values the uh, this uh, thing gets dynamically changed so these are the output all the values will be changed dynamically uh, this is the flute contribution the next field uh, in busting strength so typically when we are calculating busting strength we don't consider 100% of its uh, contribution to the busting strength flute contribution to the busting strength so in this case what we have done is we have taken 50% so uh, practice may vary depending upon the type of uh, uh, box uh, manufacturing facility you may have uh, so for manual it is considered 50 some also consider on a conservative side to 10 percent so you can play with the numbers uh, so we have fixed this range from 10 to 50 percent so let's keep it 50 right now and these are the instructions which are primarily for when the board is more than three ply so for a five ply or above uh, layers uh, what we do is we use same flute for every layer like um, so it's a combination of flute and liner which will be gets repeated so whatever we are using for three ply board the same uh, number of com uh, combination would be used for five ply seven ply and so on okay and this is the standard practice and that's why we have kept it like this uh, process waste so whatever is the manufacturing waste which you consider while costing you can keep it we have kept it five percent conversion cost rupees per kg so this includes uh, 
other costs related to the gum which is used, the stitching wires or the glue pasting and gum and there could be some other ancillary thing and the utility cost, manpower cost for running the entire manufacturing setup. Gross margin, typically what is the gross margin or the margin which is expected out of it. So let's say if my selling price which is this one is 100 uh, then the box selling price is 100 then the gross margin is 25 percent in this case okay so what it means that remaining 75 percent is what we are calculating uh, and uh, based on these inputs 25 percent is the margin we are considering uh, so based on these values quickly you can come out with this kind of results and, uh, and this is a very handy way to actually uh, keep it for your reference for future also so you can um, what you can also do is you can save it so let's say I want to save it so now currently since I'm not logged in I cannot save it so for that you need to first log in uh, you can do that either by clicking on this this is grayed out because it is not active uh, you can sign up using this button or you can also click here to sign up. So it will directly ask you to sign up. Please log in to save the results. So let's say I log in. And this, if you have not signed up right now, uh, so far, then you will be prompted to set up an email and password, confirm password and then confirm password. Then sign up. Since I already have an account, let me just uh, quickly use that account. So I have logged in, okay. So as you can see, same results are still there. I have logged in. Now I get a provision to save it. So let's say this is for banana box. And the capacity could be, let's say, 250. This, this is some code which I'm using. So this is the value which will be used to save this particular data. Okay. Also, you might have noticed that once you log in, then you get this particular uh, option of records. Um, so I'll take you to that uh, later. So now let me save this data. So now this is processing and the data would be saved and we'll get confirmation. Now it is saved. So this is saying that it has been saved and the entire form has been reset to its original values. And where you can see this data, where you, which was saved is, you can go to records and you see this banana box 250. This is my regular sorted box. This is the dimension and this is the price. This is a very handy thing to retrieve all the information and let's say you want to view this again, right? So go to this I button. So now we have retrieved this information, okay? So the same information has come now. This is a view mode. And uh, the good part is you can also share this results, these results with somebody else. Okay. Uh, and when you are sharing, the other person need not to even sign up. Uh, that will be an open a link where anybody can see that what are the results which you have generated. Okay. Uh, if you want to make any edit, you just click on this edit button and then you would be able to make the changes again and further save it. So let's say I want to share this now. So let me share this. So this pop-up will come and then it will ask you to enter a email. So let me enter an email which is... Uh, so this is my email and uh, so you, uh, you have some inst instruction you can follow. Uh, but this is a very simple way if you want to send some email. If you want to share with some other method like WhatsApp or something, then you just copy this URL and um, post it in that uh, chat and then they can access it directly. So I'm just uh, doing this. Uh, this costing results has been shared with Vrith, uh, the email ID. So that's how it works. Very handy, very beautiful and simplified tool. Uh, you can see records which I just mentioned. You can view this. 
now this is a very beautiful function so let's say I have a box which I have just created and I just want to make minor changes with the new copy of it so it would be a copy of this but not the same so what I'll do is I will clone this particular data uh, so I'll clone it so now I have cloned this so what you can see is almost every detail has come now uh, let's say I just want to make the dimensions different but others other input would be same so it actually saves your efforts to make all the entries again so I'm using the same paper combination everything is same uh, typically this is the practice uh, in most of the cases so if you want to make similar kind of boxes again and again then you can just save it so let me keep it 400 okay so I have changed this the value has changed to 109 and you can understand uh, these calculated results are self-explanatory this is what I am looking at this is my price of box per unit X works okay now I can clone and save it so once I clone and save it the result would be saved so this has been saved and I should be able to see this banana box 400 here okay isn't it beautiful so in fraction of seconds you are able to actually do this entire costing no manual work and beautifully you have been able to share this with others as well uh, this is the costing module which was recently built uh, the previous module was the BCT calculator now this BCT calculator if you are new here then this is primarily these are some generic questions which helps you come out with the box compression strength okay so let's say I have a box and uh, uh, length width height I have entered uh, weight so what weight I am keeping inside the box let's say 15 kgs of weight I am keeping and I am stacking it till 1500 millimeters of height the box is a regular box for me regular mother uh, means a regular slotted box expected shelf life of uh, storage is six months and uh, this is uh, something which means that uh, the product which you are keeping inside is it strong enough which can hold the weight of uh, anything which is kept on its top or not so if it is yes then you can just uh, mention the approximately okay it can increase my load bearing capacity by 100 percent or 50 percent or whatever so let's say i don't consider it right now okay and the destination is is it a domestic or it is exported by air or by sea let's say it's domestic which is more severe box stacking on pallet how box would be stacks on uh, stacked on pallet so do not consider means you are not even stacking on pallet we are just keeping it on floor uh, or just uh, keeping it randomly vertical line is the best recommended and interlocked is something which people do follow but it is not recommended technically because it reduces your uh, load bearing capability so let me keep it vertical in line uh, printing high medium and no print so let's say no print partition these are the various type of partitions you can just pick and choose let me select no partition in this case temperature condition so let's say it is 35 degrees Celsius right now and uh, humidity is 50 so once I enter all these values simply it gives me a, uh, a value of box compression in 215 kgf okay and safety factor this is the safety factor we have considered uh, the good part is as you keep on uh, changing these values so let's say I change the stack height to 2500 now this has changed right my value has changed if it is interlocked interlocked as I told you that it is not recommended so you can see this box compression strength has gone up significantly if I do the printing further for printing you will uh, compromise on the quality of the strength let's say my temperature is not that severe 35 it's, it's 25 right it's 25 and humidity is also low so humidity is low means 40 percent so now it has come down so it is very dynamic intuitive uh, designed for somebody who is not does not want to really get into the technical deep technical understanding about the subject but wants to get things done uh, so that's a very handy rule it's free of course 
You don't have to log in to access these costing and BCT calculator. I can just log out from here. Okay. And what I'll only miss is uh, the record saving capability for costing. That is the only thing which I'm going to miss. Otherwise, nothing else is which I'm missing. Everything can be accessed. And uh, you can update your profile details here or you can log out. So once you log out, still you will be on the page, but you are recording um, whatever data you just generated, it will be there, but your records would go out and you cannot see the records. So that's the beauty of this. Costing, BCT calculator. Primarily used for corrugated box, for corrugated box designing, and even uh, initial costing purpose. Okay, thank you very much. I would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions on this particular tool. Thank you.